everyone, Jennifer here. Welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. Today I'm going to talk to you about a concept that I do very regularly, um, almost once a month, if not once every six weeks, and it's where I shop my kitchen. And I do this because I like to, well for many reasons, because it saves money and it forces me to get creative with what I'm cooking and what I'm serving my family and also because it helps me produce less waste. So I'm actually using the food that I have in my freezer and refrigerator and pantry already. So I wanted to show you this um, video on this very rainy Friday. Can you see the weather behind me? There's a huge storm here in Southern California. So this is a Friday afternoon and I've been doing this since Monday. So the week that I'm shooting this, we're going out of town this weekend and before we go out of town, I like to do these um, shop the kitchen weeks because I don't want to go to the grocery store and buy a bunch of fresh food that's just going to go bad if we don't eat it all. So um, I basically have written down everything that we ate this week and I took pictures of most of the meals. So in this video, I just wanted to give you a quick idea of how we did this. And when you shop your kitchen, I actually don't recommend you know, don't stock up, don't go to the grocery store and stock up because that kind of defeats the purpose. Then you'll be eating all of your new food. So just, you know, spring it on yourself at the last minute and make it a fun challenge. Of course, you can go to the grocery store if you run out of something that you absolutely need. As you'll see this week, I actually messed up once and I ended up going to the grocery store for garlic bread on Valentine's Day. So I did, I did mess up, I did cheat one day this week, <laughs> um, but, Doing this will help you just be more conscious about, you know, how much food you're storing in your home and what you feed your family and that type of thing. And it's fun to get creative um, with your meals. So let's go ahead and take a look at the food that we ate this week. Hey, I'm zoomed in as close as I can get here and I hope that you can read my writing, although you probably can't. <laughs> so um, I will read it off for you. So um, on Monday, February 13th for breakfast. I had malto meal with nectarines. Malto meal is kind of old school, don't you think? Um, let me know it below if you like malto meal or cream of wheat or any of those hot cereals. People don't really talk about those anymore. We had grilled cheese and tomato soup for lunch. And then for dinner, we had the leftover honey sesame chicken with rice and vegetables. I made that in the slow cooker the night before and it was really good. I'll try to find the recipe and leave it for you below. Okay, on Tuesday the 14th, uh, we had a cherry oat smoothie and an English muffin for breakfast. This was Valentine's Day. And for lunch, we had quesadillas with guacamole and salsa and spaghetti bolognese um, with salad and garlic bread. Okay, Wednesday the 15th, um, I went out to breakfast with my girlfriend, so I kind of do that. We try to do it once a week. Today it was a Wednesday and I had a low carb scramble. So because I had such a large breakfast for lunch, I had cottage cheese and fruit. And for dinner I had um, grilled chicken with asparagus. And that was really, um, that was good actually, the, the grilled chicken. I used a marinade that I normally use for lamb and it was a Mediterranean one, it was good. Okay, Thursday I had rice checks um, and a banana almond smoothie. That was for breakfast. Super simple. And then um, I had leftover chicken from the night before with veggies for lunch. And then for dinner we had chicken pot pie and that was a freezer meal. And I served that with green beans. So the freezer meal, I've actually made a video on how I make that. So I will link that below. And it was delicious. I made this a few months ago and I'm telling you, this is such a good recipe and my husband liked it too, so it was really good. And then today, Friday, okay, I know I wrote overnight oats here with berries because last night I was planning what I was going to eat today. However, last night I forgot to make the overnight oats, you know, so I didn't really do the whole overnight part. So instead I just had a yogurt parfait. It was like vanilla yogurt with granola and some um, stewed berries on top from the freezer. Um, I just had a frozen entree for lunch, and yes, I will have those from time to time. It was just convenient, and it just fit for today. And then tonight we plan on having fish. Uh, I have frozen fish in the freezer with mashed potato and green beans. So, you know, I'm really happy. I feel like we ate really well this week, and I also used up a lot of things that I had in the freezer. 
And yes, yeah, so that was a, a great shop your kitchen week. I want to take a look at this planner. I will do a separate planner video and I meant to do that, but this is, um, I got two planners this year and I got one at Michael's that was quite large and again, like I said, I'll do a separate um, article or a, I'm sorry, a separate video on it. And then I got this one. This is Amy Knapp's Christian Family Organizer and it starts from August 16th to December um, 2017. And as you can see, the pages are, I, I really like this planner for different reasons, um, but everything's really small. So I kind of just use this for menus and other kind of small things. I keep this one downstairs by the kitchen and then my other planner upstairs um, by my desk. So that's what I, I use this for, basically um, meal planning and, you know, as you can see, I did a little meal planning here. And that's what I use this for. There you go. I hope you enjoyed looking at what we ate this week. A few tips. If you keep freezer meals, frozen fruit, frozen bananas, um, that sort of thing in your freezer. If you keep bread, bread freezes really well. It's so easy to go through um, a week like this because you can just pull from that. I find the thing that we run out the most is fresh fruit and vegetables, but I also have a lot of that in our freezer. Um, so almost all of the vegetables, many of them were from the freezer, like the green beans and all of that. So it just is very helpful um, in that area. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're going to take on the challenge and shop from your own kitchen. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time on The Daily Connoisseur. Bye!